The gaming world is almost as fast as it is unpredictable. With new advancements and developments occurring daily, it's hard to predict its future. And the latest development in the industry is the acquisition of Bebo by Twitch, which has taken the gaming world by storm. In today's video, we will be talking about the acquisition and what it means for the future of Twitch. But more importantly, we will be looking at the amazing journey of Bebo from rags to riches. So let's jump right into it. The Birth of Bebo Let's begin from the start. Bebo was founded in 2005 by husband and wife team Michael and Sochi Birch, two brilliant computer programmers and entrepreneurs. The Birches also came up with many other startup ideas like birthdayalarm.com and ringo.com, but they struck gold with only Bebo. They launched the site as a way for friends to connect and share information online. With time, Bebo gained momentum, and at its peak, Bebo was one of the most popular social networking sites with millions of users worldwide. Bebo functions similarly to current social networking sites like Facebook and MySpace. Users can create a personal profile, connect with friends and family, share information, photos, and videos, and interact with others through comments, messages, and forums. It also had features like groups, blogs, and events that allowed users to create and join communities based on their interests. At one point, it was even more popular than Google in certain regions, such as the Republic of Ireland. The site was known for its unique features and user-friendly interface. Bebo switches hands. In 2008, AOL, a global digital media and technology company that offers a web portal and online service based in New York City, acquired the site for an impressive $850 million at the height of its popularity. AOL attempted to become relevant again by purchasing and merging with other companies and saw Bebo as an opportunity to enter the popular social networking market and improve its business. At the time, AOL was downsizing by cutting thousands of jobs as part of its restructuring efforts. Bebo was meant to be a crucial part of AOL's online strategy. Although it was a less popular social network than Facebook and MySpace, Bebo still had a significant user base of 40 million total users and 22 million monthly unique visitors, strong security features, and a functional developer platform for third-party applications. But as we all know, the rise of other social media giants like Facebook and MySpace led to a decline in Bebo's popularity. And this acquisition of Bebo by AOL was dubbed as one of the worst deals ever made in the dot-com era. The Fall of Bebo Despite its initial success, after the acquisition, Bebo struggled to maintain its user base and revenue. The site failed to keep up with the competition, and its user numbers started to decline. The platform's failure to adapt and evolve with the changing social media landscape led to its downfall. As a result, AOL wrote off most of the acquisition cost. The acquisition is considered a billion-dollar blunder, as AOL spent a large sum of money on a platform that ultimately failed to live up to its potential. After a long and hard battle to keep up with the losses, AOL finally gave up, decided to bid farewell to Bebo, and cut its losses. In 2010, it sold Bebo to Criterion Capital for $25 million. After that, Bebo went through several changes in ownership and pivoted to different business models, but it never regained its former glory. Bebo goes back to the Birches. At long last, Bebo ended up with founder Michael Birch in 2013 for just $1 million. That's right, imagine earning that many returns by simply buying back what you created. It seems Michael Birch is the best entrepreneur of the decade, or at least the luckiest one. Despite the flop, Birch bought the site back and is now trying to reinvent it. On his passion project, he asked, can we actually reinvent it? Who knows, but it will be fun trying. It's interesting to see how the online landscape can change and how quickly fortunes can change in the tech industry. After he bought it back, Michael Birch announced that they would relaunch the website as an alternative space free from fake news, hate speech, and political content, focusing on live social networking, where users could interact with each other in real time. The new Bebo would feature a live feed, showing which friends are online, allowing users to chat and share media in real time. In an interview with BBC, he said, What we want to do is go back a little bit to this idea of a profile, that you have an identity you sort of take pride in. You can visit a profile and see things that aren't just the latest news articles being shared. But his vision didn't exactly play out the way he thought. The pivoting of Bebo into eSports after a brief relaunch as a messaging app called Blab in 2014, which only lasted for two years, 
Bebo made another pivot in 2018. This was because Bebo struggled to maintain its user base. To stay relevant, Bebo pivoted into eSports, which remarkably turned it into a multi-million dollar project. At first, the company attempted to develop its streaming service, but it was unsuccessful. Bebo then eventually found success in a niche area of organizing and running tournaments for some of the internet's biggest gaming streamers. The original Bebo.com website was no longer active, but the platform allowed streamers of all levels to create leagues and tournaments that other services didn't offer at the time. Bebo catches the eye of Twitch. Luckily for Bebo, this pivot caught the attention of Twitch, a video streaming platform for gamers. This focus on the esports market was likely one of the reasons why Twitch acquired the company, as Twitch is a leading platform for live streaming video games and esports events. Bebo had been fighting off competition from other streaming services like OBS and XSplit, but now they have taken down their site and deleted all of their tweets. With this acquisition, Twitch will have a fresh start with the Bebo brand and continue to dominate the streaming market. This report has been confirmed by TechCrunch, which stated that Bebo has been acquired by Amazon-owned live streaming platform Twitch for $25 million. TechCrunch is an American online publication that covers news and analysis on the technology industry, including startups, internet companies, and new gadgets. The acquisition, completed earlier this month, included both Bebo's intellectual property and 10 employees. It marks another chapter in the story of Bebo, which has changed hands multiple times in the past. How will Bebo help Twitch? The acquisition will likely help Twitch expand its presence in the esports industry, as Bebo has recently pivoted into this area. Twitch is already a leading platform for live streaming video games and esports events, and the acquisition of Bebo will likely help it grow in this market. Twitch may also use Bebo's technology and expertise to improve its own platform and offerings. Golan's social media strategist Adam Libanati Roche remarked that the multi-feature, multi-channel Twitch moderation bot is for Twitch to use Bebo's latest pivot to build its esports product, Twitch Rivals. And let's not forget the esports market is booming, with estimates of $869 million in revenue for 2018 and projected to reach $1.58 billion by 2022. This move by Twitch and Amazon could be a game changer for these parent companies and the gaming industry. The Twitch Discord War Twitch also snagged Bebo in a bidding war with another gamer platform, Discord. The Bebo team will now be integrated into Twitch Rivals, Twitch's casual esports operation that first launched in 2018 and is now widely available. Discord had an opportunity to establish itself as a go-to destination for social esports. However, before Discord could make its move, Twitch acquired Bebo, which was also a platform for organizing and running tournaments for gaming streamers. Not only that, but this acquisition is also part of Amazon's plan to dominate the gaming market. Rumors are swirling that Amazon is looking to create its own game streaming service to compete with the likes of Google and Apple. The acquisition of Bebo by Twitch is seen as a smart move, as it allows Twitch to expand its presence in the growing esports market. It is also being thought of as a way to expand the demographic of Twitch users, similar to how the Nintendo Wii brought in a whole new group of gamers in the past. So, Bebo has had its ups and downs, but it has once again managed to have found a new niche in the competitive gaming world. It will be interesting to see if Twitch's acquisition of Bebo will help it to become a major player in the esports industry.